Hey everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe so I can keep making more videos. All right, so my original build a few years ago, the car was gonna have minimal street driving and a lot of track time. So I was pretty much doing a 93 tune and an E85 tune, of course seeing more E85 than anything. And at the time, uh, you know, a lot of manufacturers weren't sure if their regular uh, fuel line would handle the ethanol, which we know now majority of it does. Uh, so I went ahead, like a lot of people have and still do, went and got this, the PTFE, uh, um, you know, plastic line. It's, it's, it's a little bit bigger than other AN hose internally, of course. That's why the outside, you can see that these both right here are our number eight line. 8 AN line you can see the, the the thickness difference of course that's because that's a rubber tube and this is just um, a plastic inside it's a uh, you know a high dense uh, high pressure plastic which uses fittings like this where you use a a uh, ring coupler like this slide it on and then these two come together and um, create a, a crimp problem is like everybody knows or if anybody dealt with these lines they constantly leak or if you take a radius a little too hard it rips and of course the fittings this is where I had a lot of issues the fittings would strip and I as you can see I've been through a lot of fittings throughout the years and that's just a small amount and that's why I'm, I'm, I'm staying away from them I'm not gonna go back to them uh, yes, you use a little bit of like three in one oil or so forth. That's what I suggest, and, and I believe they suggest as well. But you can see the traditional AN lines and, and fittings. These are the Shadow Series, really good uh, Mr. Gasket fitting. They're discontinued, but I have a bunch of them, so I use them. Uh, same with the line. And. Uh, you know, this is your traditional, you know, rubber AN line. But internal diameter, uh, depending on the line, some are very similar to the PTFE. Uh, some some are a little smaller. Uh, I generally like to to use this line because it's, I think, uh, I really can't remember off the top of my head. Maybe. Uh, this is like a 0.458 and this is like a point um, 60 or something like that I mean it, it, I, I really forget but uh, pretty much together this is the the plastic line these are the fittings you know they just leak here they leak here if you're lucky uh, I have a test kit where I I plug both ends and I, I pressurize and it allows me to see if it's leaking or not but that's it's just a pain in the ass so I'll go do these lines up and I'll uh, make some footage showing you don't forget to like and subscribe